The lone wolf personality type is quite rare and comes with a number of powerful qualities. What does it mean to have a lone wolf personality? A lone wolf is an independent, self-sufficient person who enjoys solitary activities and has little or no interest in social interaction. The difference between a lone wolf and an introvert, these two personality types are similar but not equal. A lone wolf is certainly an introvert, but not every introvert is a loner. Introversion is about gaining your energy from spending time on your own. It doesn't mean that you are antisocial and have no interest in interacting with other people. You just prefer socializing in smaller groups and avoid doing it for extended periods of time. The lone wolf personality, on the contrary, means that you have a very limited interest in building any relationships with other people or earning their acceptance. It's basically an extreme introvert who has a rich inner life and a very low need for socialization. At the same time, the lone wolf is not antisocial and means no harm to other people. It's just a very private person who doesn't easily let others into his or her life and prefers to keep a safe distance from them. Let's explore 10 signs of a lone wolf personality and see if you identify with any of them. Number 1. You are very independent. Since a lone wolf relies on internal rewards, it makes sense why they have no interest in trying to earn everyone's acceptance. A sure trait of a lone wolf personality is that you don't care about fitting in or being a part of a group. You are perfectly fine on your own, not belonging anywhere but to yourself and your small family circle. Thus, you will never try to win friends, fish for compliments, or attract everyone's attention in any other way. You will never adopt behaviors or hobbies for the sake of gaining popularity and validation. This is because you strongly believe that if someone is meant to be in your life, they should like the real you. So it makes no sense to try to look or behave like someone you are not. The only people a loner will spend time on are like-minded individuals with similar interests and values in life. Number two, you are self-sufficient. You enjoy solitary activities more than group activities. While this is also true for an introvert, a lone wolf goes further than that. If you are one, then your degree of self-sufficiency is so high that you basically need no or very little socialization in your life. You rarely enjoy yourself at any type of social event. In fact, you are more likely to feel bored and lonely at a social gathering than in your own company. Thus, if you go to a party, you will probably spend the evening sitting on your own, immersed in the world of your thoughts, in a corner somewhere while everyone else is socializing. Number three, you are a private person. Your privacy and personal space mean a world to you, and you don't let anyone violate your boundaries. If someone is trying to snoop into your life, you may become rather tough while protecting your territory. This is another basic difference between a lone wolf personality and an introvert. Introverts often find it hard to say no to others and maintain firm personal boundaries. Lone wolves don't mind openly pushing people away, even if it looks confusing or impolite. However, giving so much importance to privacy also means that you respect other people's boundaries as well. So you will never behave in an intrusive way or disturb anyone's peace. Number four, you are a deeply loyal person. A lone wolf is not someone who will fake relationships or pretend to be a nicer person than they are. You will never hear shallow pleasantries or hypocritical compliments from them. If you are one, then you can certainly define yourself as an authentic person. Since you are uninterested in earning other people's approval, you are not afraid to show your true face to the world. You only speak the truth and say what you mean. You see no point in developing a fake persona in order to look more likable to others. 
All this also means that you are profoundly loyal to those few people you have in your life. They appreciate you for your honesty and raw personality, and you cherish them for being a part of your life, because you have good reasons to keep them in it. Number five, you are very skeptical. You don't open up to people easily. To be exact, you rarely let anyone into your quiet little world. A lone wolf relies only on themselves and doesn't trust other people easily. While it's not always a good thing, as there are still plenty of beautiful souls in the world, having a skeptical personality allows you to stay safe from betrayal and disappointment. This trait can be beneficial because, after all, the only person you will spend your life with for sure is yourself. Being guarded means not expecting too much from others and not letting your happiness depend on them. Number six, you have intrinsic motivation. This is another powerful trait of a lone wolf personality. You rely only on intrinsic motivation, which means that you are not interested in what most people in our society pursue. Your own satisfaction from performing a task or achieving a goal is the only thing that matters. External rewards, such as praise, grades or money, don't interest you. If you have accomplished something, all you want is to feel good about your work and see the positive impact it has on the world. Number seven, you are pursuing a creative endeavor. Many people who have the lone wolf personality type tend to be creative in some way. These are the people who are the best painters, poets and writers. They compose music, embrace photography and prefer to work alone in silence because their work requires them to be independent. They have a natural desire to remain withdrawn from the rest of the world. They accept the isolation because it allows them to see details that they might otherwise miss. Number eight, you are highly imaginative. As an introverted loner, you tend to be highly focused on your inner world most of the time. You are an abstract thinker who constantly explores the realm of ideas, theories and fantasies. Lone wolves are often highly imaginative thinkers who pursue creative endeavors. They have whole galaxies inside their heads and are quite happy living in their own quiet universes. This allows them to live fulfilling lives without being connected to other people. Number nine. You are thought-provoking when people get you talking. The lone wolves have interesting things to say. They might not be fans of small talk, but that doesn't mean they can't be engaging in a deep discussion. This distinction is a common source of confusion. Introverts are often considered to be quiet, but that's not because they don't like people. They just don't like to talk about trivial things. Introverts are passionate people who want to make the most of their days, so they'd rather not waste their time with shallow conversations. If you want to find out how fascinating an introvert can be, simply ask them an intelligent question about a topic that they care about. Number 10. You have a small social circle of high quality. A loner will never waste their time on the wrong people. Being one means that your social circle is very small and consists of just a couple of people you trust and have a deep connection with. You see no point in having shallow relationships based more on social obligation than on genuine interest. Thus, you will build relationships and friendships only with authentic, deep and loyal people you resonate with. If someone turns out to be fake or a bad influence, you don't hesitate to cut this individual out of your life. In conclusion, the lone wolf personality is a rare and unique breed, characterized by independence, introspection, and inner strength. While they may prefer solitude to socializing, their presence enriches the world in ways that are both profound and meaningful. Whether you identify as a lone wolf yourself or simply admire the qualities they possess, there's no denying the impact they have on the world around them. Embracing your lone wolf nature means embracing your uniqueness. While you may walk a solitary path, know that you're not alone. There are others out there who understand and appreciate the depth of your character, so embrace your individuality and let your inner lone wolf shine bright.
This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.